Okay, so today, you know what I want to do is, I think I just want to start adding some more details. I got really inspired when I did this little, this little stupid banner. I mean, it does look a little bit like a mouth, like a derp mouth. But this, this little stupid banner to me did quite a bit for this. And I think I just want to add some stuff, see what happens today without much plan. And the very first thing is something I want to do that I saw in a comment yesterday. And that is to put... This is, this is such a smart thing. Or maybe it's just going to look bad. I don't know. But someone said, put a carpet there. So it looks like it's folded over the window. Okay, we can barely see that, but it is true. It also makes it look even more like a tug. I love it. Little balconies you can add. It's got, yeah, people. a lot of people are saying balconies. I don't exactly know how I would design one of those, though. Because there isn't that much space. Like, would the entire thing... Would, would I have to, like... So the floor level would be one below the window, theoretically. That's just, uh, let's just freestyle a little bit. I mean, that's all I do any, anyway, and that's why everything takes so long for me to do. If I were to add a balcony to this one, I would imagine that the balcony bottom floor comes here. Spruce is definitely not the best one here. But just so we get an ID here, right? Crap. Is this... Would this look weird? I don't think so. I actually don't think this would look weird. Just the color is all wrong. Let me get the last two ones on there. I don't know why I couldn't land there like an absolute noob. Let's see here. This one I can get on. Like that. And then... And I assume... I guess we have to like break these as well. That would work for a balcony. If we make that a different color. Oh, is there any world where we can use copper for this? It's expensive. It's got, yeah, I've been buying Exuma's copper. Like, one thing, it is expensive, I agree, by the way. But one thing you have to understand is that I am completely fine. In fact, you know what I should do is I should add a service to the shopping district, right? Where people can track how many diamonds they have spent. So Exuma is doing this whole, you know... Oh, here's, uh, here's how many diamonds you've earned. I would love a tracker for how many diamonds you've spent over the season. I don't know how that would be done, though. And we, like, we would lack a lot of data. But I would go for the win on how many diamonds spent. Now, this is going to be tricky. I guess I could use the slabs here. Oh, I do like the color, though. That color is nice. Maybe we shave it once to get it a little bit more or less like super blue. Let's see here. And then maybe, maybe even. Maybe even we have like that. Oh, hmm. I don't like the, the... Okay, let's try. Someone suggested smooth stone slabs. I do like that suggestion. We could just do copper slabs here, but let's try and mix it up and see what happens. It's like it draw it drains the color a little bit. I just had another idea. What about this? What about the floor being there? And then we have to, of course, if we want to do it that way, we have to move back to the... Uh, to the rounded outers. Hmm. I think I like the rounded slightly better, if I'm honest. Let's try and uh, peel it all the way to orange. Not not all the way, but to this. Because I don't know if I'm loving the color. It might be a little bit too blue. Oh, warped stem could go with the blue, though. That looks nice. That looks like a balcony to me. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done. So we've just added one balcony. It took us 50 minutes. It does look very out there though, doesn't it? It's very it's very big at the moment, I feel. 
Is it is it that we don't love the color? Like, is the coloring just wrong? I mean, if I add more balconies, I could be super symmetrical about balconies, but I, I kind of envision this having... Not having a single, like, one style of balconies. How about a fire escape? Yeah, I've been thinking about a fire ladder, but I've been thinking about adding that on the side of the building. Okay, apart from balconies, because, like, yes, we can add one more of the copper balconies, or we can change the copper balcony. Uh, we can do that uh, and stuff like that. But apart from that, let's think of small items that we can add, like the air conditioning unit. I do probably want to add another air conditioning unit. To the front, up here somewhere. Uh, we could add more towels. I think I should check my comments, but I'm pretty sure someone said like add um, clothesline, a clothesline with like armor stand stuff. I'm trying. This is gonna sound weird, but for as much as possible right now, I'm trying to not use any non-vanilla uh, plug-in stuff like the armor stand mod. I'm trying to not use it because I don't know why. Yeah, probably just stupid, but I, I feel like it's more fun to to try and figure it out with, with vanilla. Power lines? How would a power line be connected here? Oh, <laughs> you could have your... You know what you could have? Hold on. Speaking about power lines, can't we make like an Ethernet cable? I don't know if anyone is going to relate to this, but some people... It's probably an old, old man time, but before uh, Wi-Fi was a thing, some people shared internet through their windows with like an ethernet cable it was actually quite common in like the early 2000s um you can add plant pots yep that's true but i don't know if anyone can relate to that but but it was quite common at least where i used to live in stockholm people shared would, would like one of the people would have like a, a broadband connection and they would share it like this it would look something like I don't know how we're going to be able to do this in Minecraft, but let's say it's supposed to come out of the window. What if I put a lever there? Guys, <laughs> this is so weird. And then we have the cable. <laughs> like this. And then it would... Oh, but we can't really make it go in. Unless I put another lever here. And it's like they drilled something. They wouldn't have. They wouldn't do this though. They wouldn't drill through because you're not. If you're renting, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> I can totally see it. I can totally see it. <laughs> They're just sharing the internet. Just barely too young to have that memory. It was actually quite common. You would see like network cables. They're usually white though. You see network cables hanging out of the window, the closed window, like squished. And uh, and yeah, it, it was it was totally a thing. I would like to have like a, a neon sign. Because the symmetry here is pretty bad. But if I add a sign here, I'd cover up two windows. Would that actually help the entire build? And what would it say? I mean, it, it, it should say 85, but people are just going to say that it's BS, which is kind of funny. Motel. Advertising billboard. Well, I'm not trying to build a city. I'm, I'm building like a, a... I don't know what I'm building. A chaos factory. Can we add a hotel sign? Do we want to add a hotel sign? Can we write with these? Make it super small? Oh, this is going to be so hard. Okay, let, let's sketch out a hotel. Let's see. I want to see how small we can possibly make it. Oh, see, this is a problem immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine, actually. We're just going to be a little bit smart about placements. I've done this before. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. Nope. Okay, that's clearly an H. That's clearly H. How small can we make an O, though? Yeah, here's where it's going to be problematic, because now... Oh, but if we write it vertically, we don't have this issue. Otherwise, we have the issue of, of like, them not stacking next to, next to each other. Okay. Uh, this might be might be more doable than I thought. Wait, let's let's draw out the letters and then try and add them vertically. See if we run into any problems, okay? So an O. Oh, we have to make it 
very tall. A tall O. Yeah, yeah. And then a T, this is where Androids comes in. <laughs> it would be taller though. <laughs> that looks awful. But we can't do it any smaller way. Like we can, no, we can't place the trapdoors in the middle. Okay, that's fine because that comes after the O. So this block space would be right below that, right? And then an E with trapdoors. Is also doable because I placed that there. That on top. Wait, let me think. Is there going to be too much of a spacing there? If I want one spacing in between, maybe. And then the L. Use fence instead. Yeah, but we still have the same problem. But you're right. You're right. The fence will look better. Well, it depends. If I do this with iron trapdoors, which is going to be tricky, right? Because I have to power them. I wanted it to be white. But maybe the background should be white. And the sign should be made out of wood. Iron bars. Iron bars are going to sit weirdly towards the block in the back. We don't like the end rods then, I assume. But look, this is way smaller than I thought it would be. So, the width of this... It would be a three. Would we place it here? I don't know why I would want to write hotel though. Why would I want to write hotel? Cattle. The letters can flicker off on occasion. Well, like we powered the trapdoor. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose we could actually power them to like make the letter look like it's flickering. Right, TNT, but TNT has not done anything there. Just put symbols down. Right, hello. TNT would make sense, but I kind of want to keep that for up here. I kind of want to put a TNT sign up there. I'm trying to think of something here, this general area. For rent. Oh, for rent is a good... Oh, but there's an R there, bro, dude. There's the worst letter. How would I do an R? That's an A. That's a P. Uh-oh. Just make a lowercase r. Like that. <laughs> I mean, we could have this trapdoor here, which would round it a little bit. Number four. Four rent. Well, the number four, you just do like this, right? Is that a four? You gotta use stairs here? Hmm. Why, why does this look so cursed? Wait, it's the wrong way around! <laughs> I think we can write for rent. That's first, and then this, and then our E. Oh, and then we got an N. I mean, then we got an N. Come on now. We are all ignoring the fact that I messed up the, the four. 
We can't make an N. Lowercase N, let me think here. So that would come, okay. So we could get the bend here, I think. Four. This is gonna seem, this is gonna look weird though, I think. Okay. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it reading out for rent. For lease. I mean, S is not going to be... Uh, maybe S is simpler. No, I can, I can see that being an N. And then a T. We've already done a T. Oh, to let. To let instead of for rent. I mean, uh, 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 yeah, that's easy letters. But you can't say for let. I kind of like the fact that the symbols are going to be a bit weird, though. Pull it. Hmm. For sale. Oh, do we like for sale? I like the four, you see. Let me see. How do we do an S? This stream has turned into uh, lettering with this skull. This is not. This is not an S. I am totally not looking at my keyboard. Um. Yeah, we can do. That's a, that's a sexy S. For sale. How about for sale? That's a five. That's also an S. Four. Oh yeah, people are gonna go, people are gonna go on about that. I think that's good that people are going to go on about that. I think that's good. It's going to give me more comments, more traffic to my YouTube channel. It's a win. It's a big W. It's like the BS all over again. It's a comment bait. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's that's a win. That's a, we, we take those. That's a W, Dylan. That's a W. And then we have the A, the L, and the E. Okay, am I crazy to say that I think the birch actually looks pretty good for lettering? I actually think the birch looks great. It will work good with a background. It has like a tone to it. Like it has that, because it looks like 3D. Okay, now I wonder if this is going to cover up too much stuff. I guess what we do here is we just build this first and see what how it looks. Is that a good placement for the sign? We're gonna cover a little bit of the rust, but I guess... I guess that might be fine. Is that a good placement for the sign for sale? I think so, actually. It's gonna go a little bit further down. I'm just trying to think if it should start further down. Right side instead, in my opinion. Oh, we put it over here. But see, that's tricky because I haven't yet done the corner. So I'm not entirely sure what we will be covering up there. Why not on the front? Where on the front could we put it, though, for it to make sense? Like, would, do we just cover up windows? <laughs> like, do we just put it here? And then the people who live in these apartments, they're, like, screwed. Up on the roof? Hmm. We don't have the roof yet, though. I have another plan for something up here. Edge of the roof? Okay, so some people are thinking here. You know what we could do is we could keep this space for another sign and put the for sale, which is going to be a pretty big sign, up here. We could do it that way. Turn it 90 degrees. Oh, you're thinking it should stick out. But then it's like the same as that. I kind of want to differentiate here. Make a billboard thingy on the roof. Yeah, but we don't have the roof yet. There, there's another build I have planned. Yes, I have planned in my head uh, for the top here. So so we can't. I don't want to do that. But I do want to see what happens if we were to put it here. It's a bit stupid that I'm building it upside down, but... 
Okay, something like this, and then... Washed. Absolutely washed. Yeah, let's just say here somewhere. Would be really nice to fit, um, to be able to fit uh, iron trapdoors around this to get a sort of a border, but I think that's going to be hard to get them powered without having visible uh, levers everywhere. Okay, it's probably going to have to be a bit taller than that, but do we like the sign better there where it says for sale or here? The base is planned to go inwards there, but I haven't yet planned out what's going to be in that corner. On the rust. On the outside, okay. Right or left, just spam chat, right or left. Put it a bit further away from the building. I think that's not good. I think that it should be connected. Most people are definitely saying right though. There are a few lefters for sure, but most people are saying right. Okay. You know what? We're going to put it here because you guys voted. I would have said left. My instincts said left to like merge things. But it's not up to me. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Oh, this is going to be so tricky to build. Let me get a, let me get a temporary block that we can easily break. Uh, maybe actually dirt. I never use dirt and it's a very powerful block. Okay, so we would leave one space at the top. And then we would have our H, which we already created. Like this. Beautiful. We're gonna build it here now. I see people still, still uh, asking for uh, changes. We're gonna build it here. And then we're gonna see what happens. I can spend so long in just trying to think about these things. I've learned over the years that sometimes you just got to do, you know. Um, no, I'm not writing hotel. What am I doing? I'm going to write for that one. I'm not needing for. For sale. Where is the A? Can I fit the A? I could I could make this one a round one. I could make it rounder than we did in the preview or in the example. I could have this come here. Yeah, let's try that first. Because I think the A we can we can squish in here. Like this. Maybe black isn't the best color. I think I need two more layers for this to be symmetrical. Red would be cool as a background. Oh, it looks kind of cool already. Oh no, I need two more letters. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was like, I just need to fit an L here. Oh, it's funny. Oh, that's good. That's good. It clearly says for sale. I don't actually think anyone's going to misread that. We do not need it illuminated though. So I wonder how we can do that. Mm, if we can use Android somehow to make it like work. Glow Lichens. I, I gotta be honest, everyone is hyping up Glow Lichens, subscribe. But I'm not a big fan of Glow Lichens. 
I think they're ugly. <laughs> it can't... Surely it can't just be me. Okay, first test. Oh, for goodness sake. That was a perfect landing, and then I opened the trapdoor. The first test is going to have to be... Um, what happens if we just light up? So I can't light up the outsides. I could like have strips going down like this between the letters, but I think that's going to look ugly. So what if I just light up the bottom and the top? Let's see here. The other the other option is to make an outline around the whole thing. I like I don't want to make the sign wider. Oh, that's better than I thought. I thought this was going to be real garbage, but that's actually better than I thought. But maybe... It would be really nice to get like a nice line here. If this may not be good because I'm using birch as the text, so it may look weird. But I'm about to find out. Like, I think it would look so clean to get a frame around this. Because it's going to round the whole thing. I like that! That outline totally works. That's awesome. So a lot of people are saying that I should do this. I do not think that this will look good. But let's see. Oh, yeah, up there. That's nice. I mean, it looks okay from this from this little angle, but if you move around... It doesn't look too bad from that angle, but if you get close, it looks stupid. I think. It would be cool to have one window be, like, lit during the night time. How would we achieve that? Would we... Uh, we would put, like... I mean, because I don't think it's enough to just have, like, the black lit. I think it needs to be, like, a yellow color. But if I were to, like, go in here and do that, that wouldn't be enough, I don't think. No. It would need to have, like, um... How would it look? What, what yellow color would you use? Frog lights? Frog lights is interesting. Do I have the yellow ones, though? I'm thinking like just shroom lights maybe, but maybe they are too textured. We gotta be quick here with the night time. I'm thinking we remove the black, right? Maybe I'm wrong about this, because this may look a bit too medieval. But just out of curiosity. Ah, it's not actually bad. Frog lights does a pretty good job at that. That's quite nice. That's a little bit of detail. Okay, I think next we gotta finalize the balcony. I don't I don't think I like the balcony. I know that it's decayed a little bit, but I don't think I like the balcony in that color anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Could we do tinted glass? Actually, this could actually be cracked. Hold on, let's go back to the window. If I do tinted glass with frog lights behind it, then it's not actually gonna illuminate light. But that may look pretty sick. Let's see here. So if I... Yeah, we remove these, and then we put it here with a nice pattern. The black concrete on the sides, probably. It's hard to tell during daylight if that's better. I actually think that's, even though it may not look so now, I actually think that's going to look better at nighttime. And it looks good at daytime now. It looked weird on daytime earlier. But now it looks kind of good. Great success. Great success. Bro, just the sign, the aircon unit, the little balcony and the window, like all of a sudden this has got so much more detail. Oh, don't forget the network cable. It's just like chilling. 
speaking about details, right? Uh, do we go like super wild and chaos and just decide to add a um, bright cable coming down the entire thing? Or is this just absolutely stupid? Let's try it. Let's find out. Oh, but that's going to connect there. Yeah, that's going to connect. I'm just thinking something really weird. Like this. That does look very weird there, though. You know what, though? The, the stone, the smooth stone actually does a decent job. Maybe the entire copper rod. Maybe the cable shouldn't be a wall. Okay, so someone said that I should use a grindstone here for the mechanical part. I quite like the, the smooth stone, if I'm honest, but we try this. And then I've never done anything with these. I guess it should be tilted the other way, huh? Put that there. But see, a turn with these are always weird, though. Maybe we have a wall there. I've never used these for decoration ever. I think this is going to look a little bit too weak. I quite like walls for, for wiring in this build. Okay! That's not awful. Someone said copper stairs for the bend. Nah, that looks weird. See, even if we can make the bend work, and even if we can make that thing work, which it isn't now, I don't like the copper... I actually, I thought I would love the copper uh, rod, but... I don't, because it has too many of these. Like, what is what is this cable? Why are there so many of these? Use mini copper block. Oh! That's a big shout. Isn't that centered in the block as well? I still don't love this, but I, I do want to try with this. So... Oh wait, I gotta place it there. That's as good as it's gonna get, right? I can't get it center. See, if I really wanted to, I could do this with an armor stand. I could, with the armor stand mod, get a diagonal rod. Oh, put it on top of string. Okay, we try that. Will it center if I place it on top of string? Let's see here. So put the string there. Oh yeah, it does center. Oh, that's such a clever way to do it. And then, how was this? I have to... Oh, I guess I can place them like that. No. No. I get this one to be placed like that. Okay. And then this has the complete wrong color. Oh, but it doesn't render in. <laughs> it doesn't render in because of uh, tile entity. Hmm. There. I don't like this. I, I, I love the placement. Thank you so much for helping me figure that one out. I'm going to use that. Uh, a copper block. I think it's going to be too bulky though. I'm worried. I'm worried this is a bad idea to begin with. I'm only doing this because you guys seem to love this idea. And I'm all for experimenting. Let's get the copper block. We can get the cool new copper blocks, can't we? Like the chiseled version. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, like this block. Oh, we have four of those. Very humble. It's like a wire transformer. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to to do. Something, something uh, electric. Uh, electric. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe the problem is that I have a bend. How would it look if we just do this? It's just an electrical component. Mm. Yeah, we could leave that just to get something going, but it's definitely not necessary there. 
No, I'm gonna go with my gut feeling here. I don't like this. I think it looks uh, too. It looks too uh, tryhardy. Looks like I've tried to fit something that doesn't actually look good. So I think another air conditioning unit can sit here. Uh, actually, maybe first we do uh, the balcony. Maybe first we figure out the balcony. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth here. It's it's a bit of a mess. It's fine. What is wrong with this balcony? Why is it that I don't like it? Hold on, I'm cooking. Oh, I'm cooking something big here. Oh, this this may change everything. Hold on. If I can get this right. Oh, I just got an idea in my head. Oh, okay. Okay, let me cook. Hold. Okay. The hanging signs would look super good for this. Okay. Are we talking... What hanging signs are we talking? Oak? Oh, you can use them as a... I see, as a banister. Okay. Okay. Dylan is cooking too. Hold. I actually don't think that the stairs are bad, by the way. I think that the stairs are, works. I just want to see what happens if I do this. Interesting. But let's have a look at what these do, just to learn. If for, if for no other reason, it's to learn. Because this is very smart, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Okay. As a fully blown balcony, instead of having it... Uh, Instead of having it, like, passed through the whole thing. That is a pretty dang good looking balcony, I'm not gonna lie. The left one. And then would we move this balcony and put it up here? Or do we like that it's a balcony that covers the entire floor? Like, the second floor is the cool apartments with balconies. Bro, Dylan cooked. And man, did you cook well. The signs are amazing for this. Here's an option though. Is the second balcony also oak? Or is the second balcony like jungle? Oh, it is a good color, isn't it? But. Don't we just mix it? Don't we just use this as a bit of shade? Okay, so what if I just do that, and over here do this, that. I think it looks nice with the, with the mixing. So let's make a bunch more signs, or a little bit more signs, and then finish the second balcony, take the third one down. And we are making progress. Oh, yeah, up there. That's nice. Oh, the signs are going to render out. I didn't think about that. That's a bit annoying. But I like that. I think I like that at least. Do we maybe install a big air conditioning unit underneath that? Like the same style, but bigger. So we have that. And then... Maybe like that. There, there. There. This is a big boy. Yep. Oh, did I not bring like a button or anything? No. Oh. Oh, maybe. A rusty aircon. Yeah, this would make it a little bit rusty. Aren't they usually made out of plastic? Oh, no, they're not. They're like sheet metal. Ah, that looks awful. That looks terrible. <laughs> Original design by Mirrored. But when they installed it, when they installed these air conditioning units, you would imagine that they installed them at the same time. And so maybe it just looks a bit tryhardy to, uh, to flip it. I don't know. Try lighting up some more rooms. Yeah, we definitely need one more room lit up. 
So that would be the door up there, one of those two. So that would be weird if it would be lit up. Is that the window we light up? Where's the rest of the building? Hey, hey, hey! Okay, baby steps. We're working on one side right now. I'm almost feeling like I want to add an entire new level to this. Just to break up the symmetry that's happening here. I put a plant is something someone would place on their balcony. Oh, are you thinking like uh, like the new pots and then like a, a little like a little thing, like we build a little thing out of it, like a little tree. So this, that, ah, that's how you do it. That, and then that. That's a clever way of planting them. I like that. I don't know why people were so hyped about uh, this plant, but whatever, it looks kind of cool. We'll have it there. Again, I'm like, uh, I'm like sitting here thinking about expanding the thing. Maybe we just add another layer to the apartments. That will break the symmetry a lot. Maybe the sign will look weird though is what I'm worried about. Strip away towels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw someone do this. I can't remember where I saw it. But okay, if I would just hang these. Like that. Oh, it does actually look good. Oh, it doesn't look bad, does it? I mean, it's a bit much there now with the planted pot and stuff, but... I know it looks weird from up here, but... That's fine. It's like a beach towel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that was the point. You could just design some nice banners. I don't think you can get the level of, like, multicolor with banners in, in a good way. Like, that to me looks really nice without it being banners. But... Um, let's try with banners. Because I quite like these towels that I've done. Not from up here, but they look cool from down there. I want to see how much better or worse it is using banners. I mean, banners make sense. It doesn't look bad. Like, it doesn't look bad. I think they are better under the windows, though. I do think that looks better from down here, but not from up, up there. They're kind of tiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. They look a little bit weak. But if I hang this where the red one is... Does it look weird? Does it look like I have two towels out now? Yeah, that looks good. That does look good. And then to get that little edge, we would have an orange wool uh, carpet. But am I crazy for liking the uh, the glazed terracotta as a towel? Because I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there and like sit on it. Just suck on it for a bit. You know what I mean? And then maybe tomorrow I'll hate it. <laughs> do we just go all in and add another floor to this? Now that we've added more detail, it just feels like we, we should have another floor. If I'm honest. Okay, here's what I would want to do. I'd want to go get rid of these. Save these for the top. Do that. Do that. And remember, Doc do not have Dark Oak for sale. Annoyingly enough. I really like the uh, texture I got on this. So I want to be a bit careful here to not mess it up. We got a black. Okay. Maybe a little mangrove coming in here. Little patch. Back to that. Mm. Uh, 
and then wrap it with a uh, with a nice dark oak. There. Okay. Wait, I should see so that I got the measurements correctly. Is this Hermitcraft? Yes, sir. Are those measurements correctly? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit tall. Wait, I can't make it that tall. <laughs> That's amazing. Hold on. Yeah, we leave it here. So I want to go darker quicker. So here, I think what I'm going to do is one of these. There, there. No. Wrong. This can poke up a little bit. And then dark oak on top. And this one would be stripped. Perfect. Mm. I think way too much about these things. Okay, and then I needed some spoosh. I think we just go straight with spruce here, never mind. If only vanilla had a trowel. But the trowel wouldn't really help me. I'm actually trying to add shades to it, if that makes sense. I'm trying to like make it a specific way. Why is this like this? Has that always? Oh no, I removed the the dark uh, the terracotta. Yeah, that's okay. That shading is fine. Might want to change that window up now a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, it looks it, it really it really pops with another layer, doesn't it, or another level? Someone said earlier, switch the color and have a penthouse penthouse. Now I'm kind of curious, what would happen? This is, okay, here's, here's big cooking now again. Time to put the big pants on. What happens? Oh, but the windows are gonna be a bit wrong. Yeah, the windows would be very wrong. It's fine. What happens if we have a red layer that wraps around and then has a balcony all the way around? That's what I want to find out. But I think the balcony is going to be a bit awkwardly positioned. Bear with me. This is a giant, gigantic cooking session. It pokes out. We're not done cooking yet. Now you guys, someone said you're getting full. 
Well, it's time to get fat. Okay, this is very weird, and I'm a bit of a fan of weird. Is there a world where we make this be a thing, or are we just like scraping? Is it meant to be a pen penthouse? <laughs> a panty house? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I think it's meant to be like, we ran out of materials, let's make something different on top. I don't know these things. Okay, I don't like the balcony and I don't like the windows. I do like the asymmetry of the height, however. And I think it is in my brain where I'm not liking the... Um, like this would mimic... Would this mimic? No, this wouldn't mimic the rest. I think this is going to look weird. So shorter windows... That looks funny. I'm trying to stay away from doing this. Just one large window. A lot of people are say, keep saying just one large window. I, I don't see that. Maybe I need two floors. Yeah, maybe I need this to go up further. Maybe that's the way I break the symmetry. Is I make it taller. Taller and poke out even more. See, the problem with poking it out even more, I, I can see the poking outage even more, but I think the problem become that it looks it's going to look a bit too much floaty. I was thinking about that going one more block out, like Omega Cook here, right? But I think... I think this is going to make it look too heavy. But I might be wrong, so we try. Okay, interesting. It doesn't actually... It doesn't actually look too heavy. Okay, another problem with this now though, is that I was planning on like making this um, a gradient. But now it feels like there should be a terracotta there. If we were to be taller... How much taller is tall? Like, are we talking here and then a three high window? I don't know if I like it now. I think that the height actually ruined it a bit. But that might just be because we have... Yeah, we don't... There's no symmetry in it right now. Right now, okay, in order for this to work, I think that the windows are mispositioned. If we go look at it this way to give it a chance, to give it a proper chance. Windows could wrap around the corner, yeah. It's, for sure, it's a very interesting concept. You know what I think? You know what I think? I think we don't do the two layers. I think this is actually a funny addition, and, and, I, and I do think that this works. But I don't think I'm looking for this to be taller than the apartment building. I think it should be slightly shorter. Like we had it. I think this works. To wrap around the build. And I think it's extremely hard to tell. Right now how that wraps around. But yeah. No I think this works. And uh, I do think that it works poking out. As suggested. And then the ceiling. Would come here. That gets that angle, that actually get that angle. I mean, it's very chaos, but it does get this angle. Like if I bring this in here. And now I can make the windows slightly better, I think. 
I quite like this. I'm not gonna lie. It adds like this weird modern feel to this very, I don't know, post-apocalyptic chaotic build. Break up the green a bit. Oh, of course, of course. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in a gradient on it, but never mind the windows. I'll have to I'll have to think. I have to cook. I like the positioning of it. I like how it's sitting. The question is, do you guys think that we want to add stone in it? Because I quite like it in green. Like, do we want to add stone to, to make it look like peeled paint? And if so, we don't have that much green surface, right? So that's a problem. Where would you add that? But okay, let's see here. So it goes green terracotta. Uh, green concrete. Very close to that. Yeah. Moss, maybe? Or wool? Oh, that's a hard, that's a hard choice between those two. Then is it the lime? Mm. Then is it the powder? No, oh, they're the other way around. Like already there with the amount of blocks we have, we don't have that many blocks. That will, uh, that will look good. But like, where would we blend in? So from here, maybe. Yeah, there, there it is. If you want to go towards the gray here, and then tough probably, tough here. The gradient is too big. Yeah, yeah, agreed. For this purpose, it is. I'm just laying it out to see what we what we pick. Well, then we just pick a value from it. <laughs> but as we say, we don't need the full gradient here. And it's a question whether or not we want to go towards the. Um, um, Stone or not? Let me think. Probably not, honestly. Probably not. But then how would we cast the light on this? I feel like it should be brighter underneath because it's like lit up. So that corner should be brighter. So maybe we start there with some lime. We could also cut out one. Yeah, actually, we don't have that many blocks to play. So let's just see what happens. Here we go. So our brightest spot naturally will be this spot here. And let's set up a free cam for this. Sure. And uh, then we went to the concrete powder. And we gotta we gotta transition fast here, so let's just use that into the moss how far how far are we from the dark green almost there We're using a lot of the lime green there, but I think that's fine, honestly. I like that. Here's a bit of a problem, though. We're going to use string here, which is annoying. <laughs> What's the one after? Okay, that might work, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe... Maybe we can afford to have that moss as well, and then go to the green concrete. Yeah, the lighting there is a bit weird. That's fine. And then what about what about just saying that the light is coming from underneath? So like here we we do blend it backwards. I don't know what I'm doing, chat. I'm just I'm just having fun with this. I don't know if it needs much more than that shading if we are keeping the full green. We can definitely afford to have a more light spot here though and just make it slightly darker in the middle. It's a it's a problem right now because I'm not sure about the window placement, so a lot of this is going to have to probably change anyway but yeah let's try this let's try and go all in here and then
The moss is adding, right now is adding a nice like glow to this whole thing. I gotta say though, shading might not be perfect yet, but this is nice. The apartment buildings are looking mighty fine. I know what we're missing though. Uh, we should have an air conditioning unit right here. Yeah, that's a great positioning for that aircon. Actually, should it have been one to the right? Maybe. For sale. Man, this is looking sick. This is without a roof. Although, this does look... Uh, yeah, okay, from right in front. It's actually not as tall. It's not equally tall. So, that's going to differentiate when this gets a ceiling or roof. I like that we added that green thing. That's very cool. Oh, yeah, up there. That's nice. Thank you, Beatups. I mean, if Beatup says it's nice, it's nice. It's nice. What is that? What is that? I don't know, but it's something. It's like a technical, it's like a, a transistor box. Oh, I love this! There's so much going on! There's so much going on, so much weirdness, so much stuff, just random stuff. And I really like that we broke the symmetry that had uh, happened by random chance. Just trying to differentiate the different windows. Uh, if I put trapdoor in the edges, does it look like curtains? I'm so out of my comfort zone here, dudes. I'm just, I'm just gaming. Yeah, I mean, that could be, that could pass for curtains. We could have some curtains in some windows, surely. I wanted to try the light blue, what is it called? Twisted trapdoors? They're twisted in their brains. These things. Yeah, 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 warped. Oh, I like that. Look at that little blue there. Look at that tiny little blue. Okay, we need a couple more towels up there. Uh, and then, then we're good. We should, uh, we should try some different colors. I feel like you almost ha Oh, that's, that can be a nice towel. That's a towel right there. Just leave it like that. Okay, I like this. You know what? This apartment no one owns at the moment. That's why we have a for sale sign up. I think this turned out really quite good. I think that it has given a lot of um, stuff to look at. It's it's given the apartment a lot more feels. Board up the windows. <laughs> no, there hasn't been a murder there. There's just no one living there, okay? And uh, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this. There are still things that we can add. I like what we did with the balconies. That was a very good idea from someone. Um... My last touch, if I have it. Actually, I do have it. I know I have it. Use this. Is to add some red curtains in that top apartment, the setup apartment. Oh no, this is the mouth. This is the mouth looking trapdoor. Okay, and then we put a cat in a window. Yep, let's do it. I'm thinking this window here. Okay. This window has been picked. Sit on the AC. No, look, it's like the cable for the AC. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's nice. We got a little nice touch, little cat sitting up there. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to stare at you again. 
before this monolith is mega big. It's got weird scripture on the side of it. And here I am, staring out in the wild every day. And I miss Dress Monster.